All right, well, hello everyone, and welcome back to part four. Um, we've got our divs set up here, so you can see our three sections that we were just talking about. Uh, my main section here is the wrapper. That one was set in my style sheet to be, um, you can see here, it's 970 pixels, 976 pixels wide, um, and it has left and right auto margins, which means it's going to center. So that's the outside container or the outside div inside of that three main regions one is the header you can see over here I've written a, a rule already for the header um, it's inside of the wrapper so I don't need to put a width on it its height is 89 and it's got a background image in it uh, and then the second set uh, the second region is the content region and you can see it's this is where most of the stuff's going to end up and I've got uh, four regions in there four divs in there, top, uh, my top nav, and then my three columns that are going to end up side by side. And last but not least is the footer. Okay, so let's switch back here and uh, start putting some styles in. Um, so let's start with this uh, top nav a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do the whole, all the, all the top nav right now, but this is going to be where. I have my uh, main navigation, and uh, usually that is a uh, as a list. So I'm going to put in an unordered list, and for now I'm just going to put some uh, placeholders in quickly here. So even though uh, my final menu is going to be horizontal and look like links. Uh, without the bullets or this whole list thing, we use the unordered list because really what it is is a list of links. So we should use semantic markup um, for it. And we'll use styles uh, to make it look like we want it to look. Okay, whoops, that was not what I wanted to do. Try that again. Okay. All right, so that's going to be um, what happens there. Now, um, while we're here, I'm just going to um, get a style started, a rule starter for the top nav. So I have that selected. Come over, click the new style button. You can see I've written uh, Dreamweaver wrote a pretty long um, name here for me. Uh, it just means that I've got a top nav. I'm writing a rule for top nav, which happens to be inside my content, which happens to be inside the wrapper. If I don't like that long, I can just uncheck some of those. Um, and just write it for top nav. That would work just fine in this case. So I'm going to leave all three of them. Okay, so this is for this outside container. So first thing I want to do here is um, put a little background color in so I can see this. And I'm just going to put in a gray right now just to give me an idea of where things are. Uh, and then I'm going to go set the width. So this width um, is the, one, the first one that's going to be 950. So it's going to sit right on um, uh, on top of the white area. So when I choose 150, you can see it pulls up. It's not as wide as the uh, the outside container anymore. Um, and then uh, I want the content, this menu that's going to get created into here, I'd like that to center. So under block, I can use text align to the center. Okay, and we'll use that just because um, we're telling the container, this div, Anything that's centered inside of anything that's inside any text that's inside of this container or this div um, to just automatically center it, uh, and that is it for now. Okay, so uh, before we get too much further here, um, I'm going to go back and this content container, that one right there, um, it's the one that holds these four. Remember, let's look at the code quick. So I've got content here and that content ends here. So that's the one that needs to sit right on top of that white rectangle in the background. So let's write a rule for that. Okay, so have it selected. Um, I get, I get, it names it for me here. Say okay. All right, so um, I'm gonna put a background color in that again just so I can identify it, maybe um, just a light blue for a minute so we can see where it is. And um, then I'm going to get the width. So this width is where I need to be 950. And then it needs to center um, inside of, sorry, just lost my mouse there for a second. 
it needs to center uh, inside of the wrapper. Remember the wrapper is 976, so there's 13 pixels on each side. And if I tell this container just to have a right auto margin and a left auto margin, it will center. So you may have seen it sort of hop over there. So it's leaving me this space out here. Now that's that 13 pixel wide margin on each side. But instead of me having to calculate it, I'm just going to say um, auto margin, because I know those two sides are the same. If those two sides for some reason were different, I would have to put in numbers here um, to get that to appear here in the right place. Okay, so that's it for right now. Um, notice though when I click off of it, I don't see uh, my background graphic that should be behind there. I am seeing this white that's showing up. Um, so if I go here uh, to the wrapper, if you notice the wrapper has this white background in it. Um, and so that's um, showing up. So I'm going to use uh, I'm going to put a background here. You notice how I've just put in a um, blue background so I could see. I'm going, to I'm going to go in and edit this. I'm going to take out that blue background. Okay, And in its place, I'm going to put the graphic that makes up the middle, um, that one that we cut out in fireworks. Okay, And I'm going to choose that. I want it to repeat in the Y direction. That means up and down. So as that middle section grows, that background graphic will repeat and we will be able to see um, oh that's a mistake sorry guys Let's stop let me just take all this stuff out okay um, we don't want that sorry okay we actually we're gonna put this on the main wrapper is that's where we want this so I'm gonna edit that take out that white background Okay, and you can see it goes away, and here's where we're going to put that background image, that middle one. And we want that to repeat in the Y direction, which means up and down. Okay, so when we click Apply, now we see it show up. That's what we're expecting to have happen. Um, you can see there, I, I've got that continuous edge down there. I'm going to have a white background, and it'll automatically, as, I'm, as on some of my pages that are longer, that will grow. Some of the pages will shorter. Um, it'll always stay stay there so we're in good shape with that alright so sorry about that little sidetrack now the reason we're not seeing it behind this top nav is because if you remember in my top nav I put a little big gray background in there um, which we'll work on we'll decide on that later okay while we're uh, getting the main pieces done I'm gonna go here to the footer and the footer is the other part that has a graphic that goes in as a background. Remember we have the header, that the content area, and the footer. So I'm going to select that and choose New Style. And that's a good name. And go right to Background and Background Image. And that's this bottom piece. Now this bottom piece is 976 by 14. Okay, and we want that to repeat only once, so we choose No Repeat. And I click Apply, and it kind of goes in there. Um, but I need to go tell the height of this to be 14 so that it opens up enough so I can see the graphic. Okay, I'm going to say OK. Now it looks a little funny down there, mostly because this text is still in there that is holding that space open. When I take that text out, okay, now my footer looks like I would expect it. And if we zoom in a little bit here, I'll zoom way in, um, you can see that that footer piece um, it's actually a really small uh, graphic. It might be in a, it's the graphic that it just is kind of right there, and then all the way across, of course. It's just that bottom piece, okay, which gives me this bottom edge and this bottom shadow down there, okay. All right, let me get back out here to full size. All right, so now um, I've got my main. I'm gonna uh, my main pieces completed, okay. So the footer. Um, is set up ready to go. Um, I've got my header and my wrapper and I've even got the top nav set up. Let's look at the code quick before we um, take a break here. Okay so I'm just going to spread these out a little bit to make it a little easier to see. Okay that looks good. Okay so again just to kind of review to make sure we get it we're getting our heads around everything. The wrapper there's that outside one you can see it starts right there and ends right there so everything's inside of the wrapper 
and uh, that wrapper that's the one that one is uh, 976 pixel, pixels wide it's got auto left and right margins to get it to center and it has a background image in it and that background image is that middle piece in fireworks so that this middle section here if I turn on the web layers you can see this middle one right there and uh, that I that I sliced out and it repeats so that longer pages will get the white background and the nice borders in the shadow on each edge uh, I've got a header piece that sits right there okay and I've written a style for that and that style brings in this graphic as the background and makes the height um, the right height which is I can't remember 89 or something inside of that and after the header we've got this other region called content Okay, so the content, and that's the section where, that is uh, that I told to be 950 pixels wide, and is um, has an auto left and right margin. So that's this piece that is sitting. Let me just get it selected here. That's that piece, and that that left and right margin allows it to sit right on top of that white rectangle, and it doesn't hang over this edge where the shadow is so we got 13 pixels on each side you can even see if I hover there I get it lets me know uh, so inside of that are uh, four regions so I've got this top nav div and I already have you can see that on order list that's sitting in there so there's that top nav div and then I've got three others a left column center column and a right column inside of there and then of course the footer okay so when we come back we will work on these three columns, the left, center, and right, and getting them to be the right size and um, to line up next to each other.